Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. And comment below. I love reading where you're from and all that type of stuff. So today I'm working on a new project. I'm going to that tea party on Saturday. So I figured why not make, <clears throat> excuse me, a tea journal. So I'm going to kind of walk you guys through what I'm doing. This probably will be a few different videos. So I've decided I want to try to play around with these. They're two white envelopes that I tea dyed. And I just have to put some powder on the stickies so they're not sticky. So I'm thinking what I might do is kind of create a trifold journal somehow, like so. So then you'll have, and I might cut right here. So then you'll have some journal signatures in here. And then you'll have some journal signatures in here. So I think that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So I'll probably glue these down. Let me show you the digitals that I'm going to be using. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now that I figured out how to um, fix my Epson, uh, what is it, uh, the liquid ink, um, can't think of what it's called, refillable tank, um, the pictures are coming out vibrant, so I am thrilled with this, and what I will do is link her digital kit, I've never used her, but look at this, this is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, it's not as shabby chic as I usually do but you know what I'm gonna have fun with it so I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit but they're absolutely gorgeous 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 digitals and I'll show you as I make my signatures and all that good stuff and let's see here I got some postcards and her things print up pretty easily. She does, though, doesn't have, like, an all-inclusive kit. You have to kind of buy it piecemeal. But I'm okay with that because I really like her stuff. So I'm really... I'm going to have to do some fussy cutting here. <clears throat> and I've got a lot to get done before Saturday. And then I'm going to... I found another, I'm going to add some Christian verses to it. And then I found another digital that, oh, here they are. They're absolutely gorgeous. My friend actually introduced me to them. Look at these. And I'm thinking, since it's tea, uh, there's this one I could put on the cover. There's this one. And I was actually kind of thinking of using her on the cover. So, not quite sure yet. Oh, I could even use these, these two ladies. I got to kind of play around with it and see exactly which ones I want to use on the cover. I kind of like that too. I don't know. I got to play around with that. So, I'll be back. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I glued the pieces down and I left, hmm, I don't know. Probably about three or four inches, maybe, overlapping. So I think what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to make this kind of a, a trifold type journal like this. And I think I'm going to use that maybe as the back because I'll be decorating this. So it'll look somewhat like this. And then I'll put my, I'm going to add my signatures here. And then some signatures over here. I'm going to go and get some signatures together and kind of play that out and see, see how that works for me. 
So, so I've I'll be back. got my two signatures together. Um, I'm in the middle of a mess. Let me tell you, everything's everywhere. So I may add a few more smaller pieces. I haven't decided yet. So let me um, figure this one out. So I added, I, I want to keep this somewhat simple. And it's very difficult, as you ladies know, for me to keep things simple. So I want to try to figure out how we're going to do this. How we're going to do these do the stitches in here. So maybe we'll do one right about right about here maybe. And then we'll fold this one up. I haven't decided if I'm gonna make an inside pocket in the top. We might. We might. And then this one will go here. So we've got a little bit of an overhang still on that. So the other thing, try to think this through a little bit. Maybe I'll spread this one out a bit further. And I know we got to leave some room for ephemera as well. And then I gotta make this so it's even. I did that before, but it didn't work out too well this time. So let's see. I think if I close this. And we're not looking for perfect because it's supposed to look vintage and old. All right, so I think that might work. So let's see. We've got our first signature. And then we'll open it up. I could even add another signature here. Then we'll open it up like this and you'll have another signature here, or what if I added, I want that to be my back cover. So if I did one here, what if I add another one here? No, that won't work. So we're gonna add one here. This is what you kind of have to do. And we'll do this. So we'll have the journal. We'll be able to open it. Put a few little trinkets inside here. I want to bring some of these two to my sewing machine and stitch them. So we'll have the flip throughs here. Then we can open this up here and we'll have these in here. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just debating whether I want to add two signatures to this. To each four signatures. Just don't want it to get too big. Because it's already like this. So you know what? I think I might keep it like this and just add a few more pages to these journals. To the signatures, I mean. And then we'll go from there. But I kind of like this. And now I'm wondering what I might put is like a nice strip of lace or something on the outside. I'm just using this as an example. So it'll run down here and cover this. So I think that might be what I'm going to end up doing. 
And I did want the other to be my back. But you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you have to go with the flow. So I'm going to be back as soon as I sew these in and come back to a point where I can show you ladies what I ended up doing. So sit tight and I'll be back. I want to kind of show you what I'm doing here. This my husband makes, and I'll show you how this tool works. It's an easy punch. It's so easy to use, and it kind of keeps things even. And I'm not too crazy about evenness at this point, but it makes it easier. So I ended up sewing all around the edges. Uh, big mistake. You don't sew on tape. So I'm going to have to come up with a few things to cover these little holes up, but that's that doesn't worry me. So what we do is I clip them all together the best I could. So they're even. And I do have a few of these left. They're $38.95 plus shipping. And my husband makes them. Let me see if I can try to do this so you can see. So this goes in. None of them are numbered, but I numbered them. And I, crazy, I numbered them upside down. Yeah, I did. And then... You kind of, uh, I'm eyeballing this because I might end up covering it. So if you're not going to eyeball it, you measure. And probably have to do this upside down because I did the numbers upside down. So it's about 12 inches long. So I might do, I'm doing a um, three hole pamphlet stitch. So I'll probably do two. And probably 10. So then when I lift, the holes are perfectly in place. And I am just going to leave this here so I can stitch the first round. Uh, what I also did too, I want to kind of show you ladies is I did some washi tape where I put the two envelopes together on the front and on the back. I'll probably cover that, but I just added for extra extra security, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these signatures in. and I'll be Okay, back. so I have the signatures stitched in. So I'll show you how this looks. And... So we have it looking like this. So we have a pocket here, pocket here, and then I, somebody made me this and I think it might look cute with this. I might put this on here and then that would make another pocket here and I could make it so there's another pocket there. I think I kind of like that. And then what I'm going to do is I want to kind of of secure this down a little bit on both of them so i'm thinking i might add let's see what i have here i have some of the seam binding uh it's not seam binding it's the silk um sorry silk that's it i bought i have a ton of it here so i'm thinking we could i don't like this is kind of thin some of this so I could add this on here, on each side, or I can just secure it down with a nice wide piece of lace. Let's see what I have. Oh, hold on. This may look nice. I've got this. So I could secure a piece here. And then I could secure another piece here. I kind of like that. What do you think? I think I'm going to do that. So let me grab my sewing scissors. I got to regroup in here, guys. It is a disaster zone. Totally, totally a disaster zone in here. I guess it wouldn't be a craft room if it wasn't, would it? I like to try to cut them 
So they're kind of, there's some rhyme or reason to these, but you know what? I'm not gonna bother because we'll probably end up adding other things on there as well. I mean, so it's balanced, so you'll have, you have the same amount of roses. This actually is perfect for this. And I'll trim it here, and then if I need to, I'll go back and trim a little more. Let me get rid of this. I showed you this place. It's a disaster. It's kind of funny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue. And I'm just going to kind of glue. Glue it down. I'll start up here, and then I'll work my way down. And you'll still see the um, the sewing in of the signatures a little bit. But like I said, we'll probably layer this because, I'm, as you know, I like layering. So I'm just going to now... I just do that so I don't put glue too far over the edges. And then this will kind of give this some nice security here. And I'm actually going to glue up that little hole where we sewed in just to give it a little more. And not always do I just pick something up and like it. So like the look of it. I was pretty excited, actually. Oh, did I put it inside out? Hmm. I think I did. Well, you know what? I'm going to be layering it, <laughs> I guess, at this point. And if I really couldn't tell, I don't think anybody else is going to be able to tell. So I wanted to give you guys an update. I am on day five on my Optivia. And I kind of che cheated and stepped on the scale a little bit early, earlier than I should. Um, <laughs> I am down four and a half pounds. The first few days, because we had no power, was an absolute struggle doing this. But now once I get past that, that part where you're getting rid of all that bad stuff out of you, you kind of feel better. And I'm starting to feel really good. I'm sleeping better. And so, yeah. And like I said, I only told you so I could have some accountability. You know, I don't sell this or anything. So I just wanted some accountability. And I knew that if I told you, ladies, this actually will cover up this sewing part that was kind of jig-jagged. <laughs> so if I had some accountability, it would kind of make me accountable. <laughs> and I think everybody needs some accountability when they do some type of lifestyle change or program. So... I'm going to let that dry, and I'll be back. So, guys, sorry about that. I kind of went ahead, and I really wanted to show you guys what I did, so I'll just kind of explain it to you. <laughs> My husband called me out, and I look outside, and he's got his welding hat on, and we were looking at the eclipse, and I totally forgot to um, show you guys <laughs> this piece. So let me kind of start this. This is the cover. And then we've got this piece here, which I'm going to add something here, probably some lace or something. And I still want to lace some of these pages as well. So I did this. And I'll do a flip through after. So I wanted to add something to the middle. I didn't want it to be like the cover. So I added a piece of the paper that came from this set. 
And then I had this, that with that lot of stuff that I bought, I found this doily that I really liked. This kind of came out like this way, if you can visualize it. So I just glued it down and created a nice pocket in here. Now I'm on the fence if I need to add something to the middle of this. I had a few things out, but again, nothing is has really kind of jumped out at me yet. Um, this one mm, was okay, but I'm not sure I really need anything in the middle. But we can always come back to that and add that. So I was also thinking, I have this little journal, but I'll make another one. I was thinking of adding another journal inside here, but I kind of want to see how bulky this gets. So let's see. You know what? I kind of like that. So I think I'll make her another little one or make another little one. So I have that and I might kind of tack these down a little bit here too so they don't get all wrinkled when I close up the book. I was going to kind of leave them free flowing a little bit, but I think I'll just give them a little glue just to tack them down just in a few places. So now I'm on to the next part and I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably post the video because I don't like making them too long as you know. And then I'll create another video of decorating it. Oh, I also added this pocket as well. So this will be a double pocket. And I think I'm going to add, um, maybe I'll add some of the Christian verses in here. I'm not sure yet. So let me go ahead and end this <laughs> video and I'll upload it so you guys can at least start seeing this part of it. You guys have a fantastic day, and I want to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'll also be getting together those, the next needle books that we're going to be doing together, those kits. So that's after this. So stay tuned. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.